In this quick lesson, I'm going to talk about the Pen Styles tab. It's that tab here. Now, Pen Styles are like an outline around a shape. So, for example, on this uh, disabled sign, we want to add, say, a thin black line around it. And you can see I've got a large selection of different Pen Styles I can apply. So I apply that one there. They're also known as strokes in other programs. And I can increase the thickness from very thick to very thin. I've got full control over that and you can see how the pen applies to this particular uh, shape that we've got here. If you see in wireframe, it's not cuttable. The information is just a pen style, it's an outline. You can print this, but you can't cut it. And I'll show you in a, little, in a minute how to cut it, but first I just want to show you the corner styles. So if I zoom in here, you can have a good look, and you can see that uh, the pen style is a default pen style. So I might want to make it smooth, and you can see around the edges here how it makes the pen style nice and smooth around the corners. I can make them even rounder by setting them to round. I can mitre them for another effect or I can just use the natural clipping path as so. So I can actually apply an effect to my pen styles. Of course I can change the colour of my pen style. I can make it say for example uh, in this case red by clicking here and if I click on the swatch itself it brings up the uniform colour editor and I can select say this yellowy sort of colour and apply that. So that's an easy way of creating a pen style, setting its thickness, its effect on the edges, and its colour. I can also right click on the colour swatches here on the right hand side. So right clicking uh, applies the colour that I've right clicked on. If I right click on this X here, it turns the pen style off, so now it's gone. There is no pen style anymore. And if I just come and click on another colour swatch, I can apply the same pen style I had before. This button here brings out the design centre at the pen tools. And there's a range of other uh, more advanced pen tools from that flyout. Now something else you'd like to know or you should know is that you can actually apply pen styles to uh, open curves or lines in this particular case. I've drawn out these lines here. So I might want to apply a pen style to this particular line. So I'll click on the drop down here and select some sort of dotted effect. Uh, maybe make it a bit thicker just to make so you can see what I'm doing. Now I can add start and end caps to this particular line. So I can add a start cap. In this case an arrowhead will do. And I might add a little feather to it at the end like so. So I can create all sorts of line styles with start caps and end caps. So I can create all different sorts of um, effects with, uh, with open lines and curves. The other thing you might want to do too is actually create a pen style like this one here. I might make this red, let's say. And actually apply it to another, um, another pen style or another object. So you just copy the pen and click paste pen. And as you can see, it just copies it from one to the other. And I can, say, paste it this one as well. So as I was saying, these start caps and end caps, there's loads of these. And you can experiment with those and try different uh, layouts and styles. Colours can make a big difference. So you can easily make all sorts of uh, pen styles and lines and arrows and dotted and dashed styles. The other thing too I was going to tell you about was cutting. So you can see here there's nothing to cut. You can print it but you can't cut it. So we need to actually turn this pen style into curves. So we click flatten pen here and now in wireframe you'll see this is actually cuttable information. It's actually turned the pen style into curves which are now cuttable as you can see here. And of course I can cut these. I can send it to a cutter. I'll just zoom in a little bit here to show you. Um, and that's completely cuttable as you can see there. So that's where the pen tools are and uh, that's the end of this lesson. Thank you.